don't be discouraged. So be truly glad. There is a wonderful joy ahead, even though you must endure many trials for a little while. These trials will show you that your faith is genuine, is being tested as fire tests and purifies gold, though your faith is far more precious than mere gold. So when your faith remains strong through many trials, it will bring you much praise and glory and honor on the day when Christ Jesus is revealed to the whole world. You love him even though you have never seen him. And though you do not see him now, you trust him. And you rejoice with a glorious, inexpressible joy. The reward for trusting him will be the salvation of your souls. Those who have been ransomed by the Lord will return. They will enter Jerusalem singing, crowned with everlasting joy. Sorrow and mourning will disappear, and they will be filled with great joy and gladness. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. And now, dear brothers and sisters, one final thing. Fix your thoughts on what is true and honorable and right and pure and lovely and admirable. Think about the things that are excellent and worthy of praise. Though I am surrounded by troubles, you will protect me from the anger of my enemies. You will reach out your hand and the power of your right hand saves me. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God and trust also in me. We are pressed on every side by troubles, but we are not crushed. We are perplexed, but not driven to despair. We are hunted down, but never abandoned by God. We get knocked down, but we are not destroyed. I'm leaving you with a gift, a peace of mind and heart. And the peace I give you is a gift that the world cannot give. So don't be troubled or afraid. So do not throw away this confident trust in the Lord. Remember the great reward it brings you. Patient endurance is what you need now, so that you will continue to do God's will. Then you will receive all that He has promised. So be strong and courageous, all you who put your hope in the Lord. So let's not get tired of doing what is good. At just the right time, we will reap a harvest of blessing if we don't give up. Wait patiently for the Lord. Be brave and courageous. Yes, wait patiently for the Lord. I am certain that God, who began the good work within you, will continue his work until it is finally finished on the day when Christ Jesus returns. Though a mighty army surrounds me, my heart will not be afraid. Even if I am attacked, I will remain confident. The one thing I ask of the Lord, the thing I seek most, is to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, delighting in the Lord's perfections and meditating in his temple. For he will conceal me there when trouble comes. He will hide me in his sanctuary. He will place me out of reach on a high rock. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you that my joy is found in you. I thank you that while I may go through many trials here upon the earth, that you are with me, protecting me, and making a way for me where there seems to be no way. I trust you, Father God, for you are my salvation. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that you have given me a peace that this world cannot give, a peace that is over my mind and over my heart. I choose to fix my mind upon those things that come directly from you today, the things that are true and honorable and right and pure and lovely and admirable. All of the things that describe you are the same things that you have shared with me. Holy Spirit, lead me this day and fill me with strength and courage as I put my hope in you and in you alone. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.